yeah, one of the, which is the home of one of the theologians yeah, yeah, that yeah, lived exactly, on an island. Exactly. They lived on a little yeah. And <laughs> don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was another thing. That, if you tore my nails out, I couldn't tell you where it was. I just decided that I would have to erase it, you know, that, that under no conditions could they force that out of me. So that was a great moment. And he, and he, um, uh, you know, he was pleased with this, and he gave his blessing, which he really would always do. I don't think he would. Uh, uh, and uh, with that blessing, we went back, and I decided to move it onto the main stage. And uh, as they say, re the rest is history. Uh, that worked. And one of the most powerful things, I think, uh, that happened to both me personally and to others is that I would do post-performance discussions. It was too important to let people, 750 people go without having an interaction. And of course, uh, it was um, even people who were opposed to it stayed. To, uh, and I always feel that that's healthy when people would address a, a question to me uh, about the play, I would throw it back to the audience. I said, you know, Someone says, it's the worst piece of the theater I've ever seen. I say, Any, everybody agree with that? Someone else would get up, and they began to have a dialogue. But the thing that struck me was in relationship to participating in um, something like this, and there isn't too much something like this, um, that I could have asked, and should have probably, asked the audience one key point, um, to get up, come out on the, go down to the federal building down the street <laughs> from uh, Hill Street and, uh, um, and uh, paint the, the building or throw whatever it was. <laughs> and they would have come. They would have come because you, you couldn't escape throwing the responsibility back to them. And that's what you do when you face the audience. You, you know, yes, it's a, an event on a stage, but it's also an event in the theater, and uh, that grows in the play, so that when Dan says, uh, this has been the greatest day of our lives, uh, uh, they feel it. Happened, it happened in little spurts. Well, know. it is so universal. Yeah. For one thing, it reminded me of one of your very first plays at the Mock Taper, Devil to Rudolph. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was our first uh, play. Then we had protests. <laughs> uh, and uh, I, I didn't know, it was <coughs> totally green here, and I didn't know Los Angeles at all. And I uh, put together the first season. I wanted to start with, I thought, Shakespeare, that's a good way to begin. Uh, and then I couldn't put the company together that I wanted to. And I thought, I came across the devils. You know, the devils, uh, Aldous Huxley wrote a book about a true story of a, of a libertine priest and a, uh, a nun who had sexual fantasies, something that we know doesn't happen at all. <laughs> and, uh, and what attracted me to it is that it had a classical form to it, but it was very contemporary. So I was killing two birds with one stone, and of course, um, uh, uh, I didn't have a measure of LA, and especially the strength of the Catholic community. Uh, the Archbishop Mahal, was it? No, uh, McIntyre. McIntyre, right. And, uh, uh, and the Board of Supervisors, five men, which is James, five white men, Three of them were Neanderthals. <laughs> but they got all hot bothered about it and put a lot of pressure on me and on the, uh, uh, on the music center. Uh, and fortunately,
fortunately, we were able to not only withstand it, but actually it gave a signature to the theater. And you know, the actor's gang has a signature about what it does and how it expresses. And it did it for me even before I kind of was planning to do that. Um, and it helped shape my life here. And now I'm trying to write about it. But um, <laughs> uh, I find writing difficult. But uh, we'll do it. We'll do it somehow. You know, Let's this is all in the wake of Vatican II. It's good to keep that in mind. The Second Vatican Council was 1962 to 1965. And those of us in the field in Africa, <coughs> Asia, Latin America, we're hearing phrases from Rome that we couldn't believe, saying things like, make up your mind in the field how to enter in to the hopes, desires, and anxieties of these people, hasta las últimas consecuencias, wherever it takes you. <laughs> and we go, oh, thank you very much. And uh, we just took the ball and ran with it after that. The cardinal, I found out, oh, yes, right, yes, uh, yes. Um, was all upset. And yes. uh, Lou Wasserman, who was president of the board of Senate Theater Group, and as I learned, a very powerful man in the, in the community, mm -hmm. but also turned out really terrific guy. I wouldn't want to work for him at Universal, mm -hmm. but I was very <laughs> happy to have him uh, be the president because uh, they called me to his home, and they had a very powerful lawyer. Their name, uh, names are getting me uh, Paul. It'll, um, I'm just going to interrupt. I wanted to open it up to some, yes. some Let questions. Let me just quickly yeah, finish the story. No, and I'm no. sorry. I don't mean to. Uh, I, and you should. One second. Uh, but